Hello everybody, my name is Molly Meep and welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved. Anyways, I have managed, as you can see, I have managed to actually get through virus and fungus. Um, now fungus is about as far as I've gotten and I have not been able to complete fungus yet, so that's going to take a little bit of practice. But we're going to go ahead and go with bacteria because bacteria is the easiest thing to control. And yes, I actually played enough times that I got all the boost unlocked. Now, these are the ones that I actually prefer because ATP boost actually gets you the bonus DNA at the very beginning of the game, which is very, very helpful. Um, genetic mimic makes your plague a lot harder to cure, so that's extremely helpful. Aquasite makes it so that your plague actually has increased chances of getting spread by C. Uh, zero file gives your plague a bonus to uh, arid climates, which also is very useful because those dry climates are a bitch. <laughs> and then ionized helix uh, gives you bonus DNA when devolving. So, all right. Um, no, I'm not gonna do mega brutal. I'm gonna go to normal because I am not ready for mega brutal. My body is not ready for that. And yes, as you can see, I actually did already name my my wonderful plague, and, and um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and let Foop2 continue to take over the world once again, so let's go! <laughs> yeah, 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 welcome to Plague Inc., where you are a new bacteria, and to win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Picking a start location. Well... I have two favorite locations, actually, and my to-go-to's are China and Iceland. I like Iceland because of the fact that they're very small and you can tend to infect them fairly quickly, whereas with China, you want to get them infected quick the most because they tend to be the ones who start the cure more often, well, at least it has been in my playthroughs, because every time I try to infect anyone else, China's like, oh, let's start a cure. Well, you know what, China, you're going to go down. Boom! <laughs> Fooptoot begins in China. Fooptoot has infected its first human. Weak and unspecialized, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Well, we're about to do so. So, bring it, bring it. Bring it on. Give me those DNA points. Yes, yes, yes. I already know. Pop the orange DNA bubbles. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. It helps me to evolve. Now, from what I took for advice from Markiplier's playthrough is he said that the first thing you want to push for is symptoms, which he does have a point because the faster you start making people sick and get people infected, the more spread out your, your virus or bacteria or whatever the hell you're playing, the more people will actually get infected a lot quicker. So that's what you want to shoot for is getting people infected. All right, um, let's go with Rash and... Let's see, we'll give him some sweating. And let's see. I want to go transmission. I want to start going through the water. So let's do that. And let's get them with coughing. Yeah. You have successfully evolved poop too. Yay! <laughs> Everyone's gonna get poop to death. It's all about patience. Yeah, yeah, I already know. I don't really care. <laughs> Foop Toot has infected hundreds. Oh no! I got a bad case of the Foop! Now we're going to spread our infection through the air. And before anything, I need to up my drug resistance. Let's get that started. <laughs> Foop Toot now infects thousands! Poop Toot now spreads to Kazakhstan, whatever the hell that freaking place is. I can't pronounce it for shit. <laughs> Kazakhstan or whatever. Poop Toot has now been infecting more countries. Yay! Infection! You're all going to be infected by my foop. <laughs> more infectious than TB. Oh no! Everyone's gonna need TB shots! <laughs> oh, here we go! More infectious than HIV! Haven't killed anyone yet. But it will start to. And I need to be prepared. Um, let's go ahead and do genetic reshuffle. 
minor disease spreading. How dare you call me a minor disease? And there goes China, starting to work on the damn cure. Somebody's gonna start dying. Somebody's gonna die. I want to be able to spread my disease more. Ah, sneezing. Yeah. Let's make them sneeze! Achoo! And pulmonary fibrosis symptom has been mutated. Thanks a lot, fibrosis! Ah! First death in Afghanistan! Oh no! Somebody died! Now they're gonna come after me! <laughs> rock em up, rock em up, give me those bubbles. My bubbles. Let's get out there. More infectious than the common cold! Oh no! Everybody's sneezing foop mania! Foop Tuna has been placed on the watch list! Foop Tuna has been placed on the Who watch list! Already dangerous governments are warned that it could become unstoppable! Oh no! I've been put on the watch list! Who's watching me? Is it you? Well, that should be so funny, like everyone just comes in and they're all fooping to death, like FOOP! <laughs> Tsunami hits SE Asia! Oh no! Who cares? Whoa, I got lots of points! Holy hell! Alright, let's do some more genetic reshuffle. Let's up my drug resistance. Let's get some heat resistance up in there. Let's spread it through the air again. And, um... Yeah, let's give him some fever. Let's give him some manic fever. Japan now shuts down airports. Well, fuck how you, Japan! Oh, how dare you! You will not stop me with your damn cure bubbles! Nausea symptom has mutated. Yay, everyone's gonna be throwing up now. I'm infecting a lot more than I am killing, but that's okay, because I want for them to get infected all over first before I start murdering them. All right, let's slow them down with their progress, and let's up our cold resistance. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Fight the cure! I don't think so. Food dude has killed over 75 million people worldwide, worse than the Black Death. <laughs> oh, I haven't been that evil yet. Ah, 25%. <laughs> Please. You're so boned. London Olympics mystery. Who the hell cares? Oh, no. I don't want to hear the children singing. Don't do that to me. Fooptoot is killing very fast. People are dying in Morocco faster than new people are being infected. I gotta wait for that to get fully infected. Before I push for it. Oh no, it pushed for it for me. No! Fooptoot has mutated, developed total organ failure. No, I didn't want that. Not yet. Well, wait, maybe they'll get infected before it. Global research focused on cure. It ain't gonna happen. Fooptoot has killed over 120 million people worldwide. Worse than the Spanish flu. I think I'm gonna get them all infected before death. Yep. There are no healthy people left in the world. The last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with Fooptoot. Oh no, the tragedy. Fooptoot is the deadliest plague ever. It has killed over 300 million people worldwide. Worse than smallpox. 50% on the cure. Yeah, uh, you guys ain't gonna get nowhere with that. Brazil begins to break down! <laughs> cure research is starting to slow. Well, I got some more points, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw some coma up in there. And some paralysis. Yep, now watch people start to go. Oh, I got more points? Okay. Let's add some inflammation and some seizures. 
Peru in anarchy! Peru is first to fall into anarchy due to Foop Toot. Man, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna cause complete total insanity! Why are vomiting and everything else? <laughs> Fooptoot is the main cause and responsible reasons for vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, and for coma and total organ failure! Hopefully you don't have them all at once! Oh wait, you do, cause you're dying with complete insanity to top it off! Oh wait, now I got my vomiting. I forgot I had nausea. Not vomiting, not yet, but now I are. Puking to insane degree! My Pepto ain't gonna cure that. Fooptoot to destroy humanity! Fooptoot has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. Yup. I think I got this. Projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of Fooptoot. <laughs> oh, yay. Hello. Yay! Fooptoot has successfully eliminated all life on Earth! <laughs> I'm so horrible. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it's just a game. I wouldn't really wish this upon the world. So let's see. Um, my infection lasted 809 days. The cure progress only got up to 55%. And I killed everyone with bacteria. <laughs> Yay! So anyways guys, that is the Gink Evolved and like I said, you know, my strategy is pretty much just pushing forward for all those symptoms and then trying to get to total organ failure because that's how I play. I like to make everybody pretty much go into total organ failure mode while throwing up their guts and going into complete insanity. Just going like, <laughs> you know? But I mean, that's just me. That's me. I'm just that kind of player. But anyways, do expect to see more videos in the future because I absolutely cannot stop playing this game. It is very fun and addicting and I absolutely love it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you all again in the next video. Bye-bye!